To start, we need to have a blank page open in Corel Draw. From there, we'll go to the toolbar on the left-hand side and select a two-point line tool. We'll position that tool near the left edge of our page, left-click and hold, and drag your mouse to the right. You can press the control key on your keyboard to constrain that line and make it perfectly straight. Next, we'll go back up to the top of our toolbar, select the pick tool. We'll go to the tools drop-down menu near the top of our screen, and we're going to select options from the top. The options window will appear. We're going to select the general tab at the top of that. In the center of the general window, we're going to see the duplicate offset values. We want to set the horizontal for zero and the vertical for ten thousandths of an inch so we can space our lines ten thousandths of an inch apart. With the line selected, we're going to press and hold the Control and D key, and it's going to stack up as many of these lines as we want. And this will be our hatch pattern. Now, if we zoom in on this, you'll see it's nothing more than a group of uh, straight lines. The next step is to group all of these individual lines together so we can select them as one. So we'll drop down the Edit menu, go to Select All Objects, and then we drop down the object menu and we're going to select group objects. Now we can select them as one group of objects. The next step is going to be to get the design that we wish to fill with this pattern. In this case, it's our logo. So we'll select it, drop down the edit menu, copy it, go back to our hatch pattern, drop down the edit menu, paste it into place, and then drag it into the appropriate location so we can use the hatch fill. The next step from here is going to be to drop down the object menu, go to the shaping flyout menu and select shaping to open the docker on the right hand side of the screen. Now I want you to select the hatch pattern, drop down the shaping window, select trim, click the trim button, then click on the logo, which is what we wish to, to trim it with. And you'll see that everything is eliminated but the hatch pattern inside of our object. And this is a fantastic way to add additional definition uh, to your objects.